hello guys welcome back to my channel thanks for always coming back i hope all is well with you guys i hope you're well and okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video please do and if you have already done that don't forget to like this video at the end of it so we're going to be making a pinafore pleated skirt today so i've already cut out my waistband the waist of the client is 28 inches so i added one extra for a zip allowance so i cut two pieces of this as you can see i cut out two pieces of this because the band is going to be double and then the length of the band this is a um, three and a half i want to use a band of two and a half inches so we are going to be sewing half half inch on both sides so there is the band and then there's the length of my skirt I've already cut it out you can make yours longer you can make yours shorter the length of my skirt is 18 inches plus one inch seam allowance so this is the pinafore part it's just going to be a simple rope pinafore that I'm using to cross at the back now from your shoulder to your half length that is where the pinafore starts and it is 16 inches but i added three extra inches to make it 19. if you use exactly your half length it is going to be short so you add three inches extra to your half length or waist length so now i want to start making the plates now remember the one inch for zip allowance So we are going to try as much as possible to make our, our pleats equal. Mm -hmm. Because if you maintain one size, your pleats mm -hmm. are going to come out more beautiful than if they are not equal. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll be taking a distance of one inch mm -hmm. apart. So my pleats are going to be one inch apart from each other. So I'll just go ahead and make the pleats and then pin it. So you just go ahead and make your pleats and paint them from the beginning to the ending of the skirt. If you are an expert on this, you can just go ahead and do this on your sewing machine to avoid waste of time. But you just have to make sure that it matches with your waistband so i'm going to check mine now ah yeah it matches with my waistband so i'm going to take this sewing machine and sew it now so guys i've sewn it and i also ironed them properly you can see it's well ironed yeah and i also hemmed the down part of my skirt so it's really looking nice now you can see So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm, where is I'm going to be marking four inches down. That is where I'm going to be closing my pleats on. So we are doing a closed a closed knife pleat. So I will be sewing up to that point, four inches to the end of this. So this is it now. I've closed the pleats. I think when you pleat this way, it's, it looks finer. Yeah. So this is it now. So 
so the next thing i'm going to do i'll take my waistband one part of the waistband and i'll be sewing it on my skirt i'll attach it to my skirt so remember to sew on the wrong side of it so i'll take it to my sewing machine now to sew on it So I finished sewing that now and I also ironed it. So I want to notch the middle of the skirt. I want to get the middle of the skirt so I'll know where I'll fix my pinafore bands. So this is my band for my pinafore. So I cut it on fold. This is 3 inches wide. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and turn the rope. So I've done that now and I've also ironed it properly. So I'll be attaching it to my skirt this way. Now from the point that I notched the middle of the skirt, I'll be taking 4 inches to the left and 4 inches to the right. This is where I'm going to be attaching my pinafore ropes on. So you attach the side with the open end so I'll simply pin this and then I'll attach the other one like this And I also take the other part of my waistband. You know, we cut the waistband into two. I will use the second part of the waistband to turn this. So that is why we split the waistband in two. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine now to sew it. After which you have to give it a good press so it will come out nice. So we've done that now. We've ironed it. So you can see we only have one open end. So the last thing we do is to fold this part now. We'll fold this part in. So we fold it in like this, straight down. So take my sewing machine to do it now. So guys, I've sewn it in and I also ironed it very well. So look at it now. This is the back, and this is the front. As you can see, it's looking good already. Skirt is as good as done. So what is left here now is to fix your zip and then close up the skirt. So that is all for the skirt. Thank you so much guys for watching this simple tutorial. I hope you find it simple. I hope you understood. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment and share if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much guys. See you on the next one.